the Debonair Den of Dreams show. This evening I want to talk about you. But before I do, I thought I would just give you um, a little introduction about who I actually am. My name is Debbie McIntosh. I'm 50 years old. I live in Manchester here in the UK with my partner and I have a gorgeous 23 year old son who makes me very proud to be a mum. I have spent most of my life in victim mode, blaming my parents, my childhood, my ex-husband, the world, life in general, but no more. I no longer am in victim mode. Why? Because I've changed my mindset. And I've done that through personal development. I have given myself goals, which to be honest, I did do in the past, um, but I wasn't in the right mindset. And goals were just goals written down on paper. I didn't actually do anything with them. Now they are attainable goals, which, well, when come to fruition, and they're going to come to fruition, no matter what. So, this evening, I want to ask you, what does success mean to you? Success to me is the opening of Debonair Den of Dreams Respite Centre. I have had this dream for some time, and when it happens, I know that I have succeeded, that I've been successful, that my dreams and my goals today will have come to fruition. I will be financially free and I will have become the person I've always wanted to be. A person helping others to thrive, to achieve their goals, whatever they may be. So, what, I am, what am I doing today to become successful? I am working on me. I have a plan today. I have a 90 day plan, a 90 day plan that's going to change my life. Each morning I get up around 5.30 to 6 a.m. I read for 30 minutes and I don't just read a book. I read something that will help me to achieve my goals. Um, some kind of self-development, um, some kind of mindset um, book. Um, at the moment, I'm um, reading The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, which has changed my life phenomenally in the last three weeks since I've been reading it. And I've not just been reading it, but I've been implementing the exercises that T. of Ecker actually asks you to do. So it's no point just reading a book. If there are exercises that the book asks you to do, do those exercises, you will be really surprised how much it will change the way you're doing things in life at the moment. I'm also reading The Science of Getting Rich and Ask and It Is Given. I then, for 30 minutes, listen to an audio from my inner circle, um, which are motivational um, audios, um, which, again, just motivate me every day and get me started. If you want more information about how to get these more motivational audios through my inner circle, uh, just comment at the bottom and leave me a message and I will get back to you. <clears throat> I then stand in front of my mirror, which, sorry, before I do that, I actually stand in front of my vision board, which I suggest everyone should have. Again, if you need guidance on how to um, create a vision board, I can help you with that. My mentor, Darren Little, has shown me how to create a vision board so that it can be the most powerful um, tool that you can use every day to um, visualise your goals and 
make your goals more attainable. So I stand in front of my vision board for 10 minutes, really stare into it, stare into it until what's on your vision board begins to move and actually feels like it's coming out in 3D. I then spend five minutes on my proclamations. I have 10 proclamations and I stand in front of my mirror and repeat my pro proclamations. And I do them with emotion, determination. I don't just read them off a piece of paper. They need to mean something. They need to come from your heart and from your soul. Uh, proclamations I will actually go into um, on a later Debonair show um, because that's actually a show in itself um, on how to create proclamations um, and, and what to do with them and how to use them. And actually I do have a blog if you go to www moneyfordreams.biz the four is the number four um, if you go on there um, one of my blogs talks about proclamations and affirmations and it will just give you a bit of background I repeat these two activities a further, a further two more times in the day noon and evening I also proclaim my major divine purpose in exactly the same way Again, we'll talk about your major divine purpose in another show. I then post to my social media accounts. I do 80% motivational posts and 20% business quotes or business posts, should I say. I then post my ads to other areas such as Craigslist, Backpage um, and other, other um, ads that I, I want to do on that particular day. Every day I write a blog. Now most of my blogs are motivational blogs about mindset, um, personal development, um, success, vision, uh, goals, dreams, um, anything like that. My, my most recent one, which I'm in the middle of writing at the moment, is to do with subconscious time travel, which was an amazing experience that I actually did yesterday. Again, that's another show. <clears throat> um, once I've written the blog, and I, I now put make, do a video to go with that blog, um, because it shows that there is a human behind the blog and um, I want to get to know my readers and I want my readers to get to know me as well. <clears throat> uh, once I've created the blog, I then post it onto social media. Um, I also ping it on Pingler, uh, tumble it on Tumblr and other um, forms of social media. Get your message out there as much as you possibly can. It's all part of building your presence out in the marketplace for you to achieve your goals in the future. During the day, I email my contacts at least twice and speak to those who want um, some guidance or want contacted on that particular day. Uh, to me, this is how my respite centre will transpire by being consistent, having faith, and having these non-negotiables, doing these activities every single day. <clears throat> One of the things um, I actually came across, and it is so true in life, that your success that you have is only limited by your own limitations so please please do not limit yourself do not hold yourself back whatever's in your head the thoughts that you've got in your head make them positive take away the negatives because your thoughts 
your emotions or what will happen to you. So make them positive, repeat your goals, repeat your proclamations and get your message out there. Get yourself seen um, as much as much as possible. Take from this hangout this evening one message, if you only take one message. If you don't have any goals, if you don't have a plan, you aren't going to go anywhere. So the first thing you need to do from leaving here is to sit down, write out your goals, write your goals in as much detail as possible. And then from there, make your proclamations. Your proclamations are in the I am. For instance, I am a leader. I am worthy. I am successful. That's a proclamation. You are proclaiming the person you want to be. For more information, uh, please either email me at debbie at debbiemackintosh.co.uk or you can also go to um, www.debbiemackintosh.co.uk There's a lot of training tools um, there for you. If you have any questions, you know, email me or um, I'm on Skype under Debbie McIntosh. Love to chat with you there. Um, <clears throat> following on from um, setting your goals and having you set a daily, giving yourself a daily plan. Even though the plan is 90 days, really your focus is on the first 30 days. And then at the end of those 30 days, reflecting on what's happened over those 30 days, tweaking them a little bit, and then doing the next 30 days. So that yeah, at the end of your 60 days, you have progressed further than you had in your first 30 days. And at the end of those 60 days, if anything hasn't worked or you need to tweak something, then look at your plan and, you know, tweak, uh, tweak, tweak your plan and then do the next 30 days. So in effect, really, you're doing the same thing for three sets of 30 days. But if something isn't working, move away from it, tweak it, do something else instead in your, ne in your next 30 days and keep advancing yourself and progressing yourself. That's the one of the only ways you're going to succeed is have a plan, have a goal in mind. Um, always, always reach for those goals. Make those goals non-negotiable. What do I mean by that? For instance, I have my biggest goal is Devon Aid and Dreams, a respite centre for children and families coping with the challenges of complex disabilities. Now, in order for me to reach that goal, I've got negotiable, non-negotiable. For instance, every single day, without fail, I will read for 30 minutes, listen to audios for 30 minutes, do some thinking time for 30 minutes. The thinking time I use as um, time to work on my self-esteem, my self-development, my thoughts, my emotions, making sure I'm getting the right thoughts in my head, the positive thoughts that will get me to my goal. So there are three definite non-negotiables. Um, another non-negotiable is that I um, blog every single day. I make a video to go with that blog every single day. Now, a lot of people say to me, oh, I haven't got time, I haven't got time. I haven't got time to do this and I haven't got time to do that. 
if you sit and actually work it out, how many hours in the day you have spare, you'd be very surprised how much you can fit in. A big, big non-negotiable is, don't watch the TV. The TV on isn't going to get you to your bones. If you've done everything you set out to do in that day, and you've done it to the very, very best of your ability, and you've got half an hour left, well then, reward yourself and watch the TV if that's what you want to do. Okay? But, you know, you have to be true and you have to be honest with yourself. If you want to re reach your goals, you have to go beyond, way beyond what you think you need to do. Now, as I've progressed, you know, I had some stumbling blocks. I um, struggled with um, speaking to people on Facebook, uh, making new friends on Facebook, building relationships on Facebook. That was a real big fear of mine. But doing hangouts was a real big fear of mine. Um, despite the fact that I used to be on stage, um, talking to a screen seems to be a little bit different. I don't know why. And um, actually, um, putting adverts out there, advertising myself, my business, um, you know, what value that I have to offer, I found it very difficult to do. However, with the right systems on board, you can achieve whatever you set out to achieve. Now, these shows every week will help you with any difficulties that you're Coming up against any challenges you're coming up against um, in your business, in your personal development. Um, you know, if you are stuck with anything, send me a message and, you know, I can contact you back and we can actually use your challenge as a topic on the show so that it can be discussed because you won't be the only person who actually has that challenge. And by discussing it, we can help both yourself and all those who are out there um, who with that, you know have who have the same challenge we can actually help them um, get over the challenge and step forward from that and that's what I want this show to be all about it's to help people progress in their business in their personal development so that they can succeed and have the lifestyle and the dreams the dream lifestyle should we, should we say that they want for themselves and for their families and it is achievable it really is achievable you have just got to put yourself in the right mindset and it will get tough there will be tough times there will be the times when you say oh i don't want to do this anymore it's not working i've had enough that's the easy way out. The stronger person and the successful person will be the person who gets to those blocks and says, right, how am I going to get over this? Who can I reach out to? I have to reach out to people. I reach out to my mentor, um, who you will meet in um, a future show because I'm going to ask him to um, be part of one of our future shows. And, you know, I reach out for help. You know, not everybody knows everything. And we can help each other. And that's what this show is all about. So, you know, when you come to the stumbling blocks, please, please don't give up. If you give up, you will never succeed. When you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do the 30 minutes reading and you don't want to do the 30 minutes or yeah, listening to audio, it doesn't have to be in the morning. It can be whenever it suits yourself. Make yourself a plan. Make yourself a daily plan of the things you need to get through and tick them off as you do them. You know, different people have different work lives, different businesses. So, you know, they might do their reading and listening to their audios on an evening, or they may do it while they're driving to work. Um, sorry, listening to the audios, that is, and not reading. Um, that'd be dangerous. And, um, you know, the downtime is the 
one of the best times to listen to your um, audios. And um, people have found that because it's, you know, driving home from work, you know, you may, it may take you 30 minutes to drive home from work. Stick your earphones in, listen to an audio, get some motivation. And that motivation, even though it might be at the end of the day, that motivation will actually help you plan the following day. So it's not that you're, you know, listening to a motivational audio at the end of the day and what you're going to do with it because it's the end of the day. Well, it's how you use it. It's, you know, I've written blogs about some of the audios that um, I've listened to. Um, you know, so they are very, very useful. It's a very, very useful tool, um, a very, very good um, activity to do to help you progress, keep you motivated. And, you know, like I said, everybody works differently. Everybody will have a block at some time. Everybody will want to give up. But the strong people reach out to the people who can help. And they will move them forward. So don't panic. Don't go into, oh no, I can't do it today. I can't blog today. Da -da 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 -da. So if there's a day in the week where you know you can't do a blog, but there's a day in the week where you could do two blogs, write two blogs, post one one day, and post the second one on the day you can't do the blog. Because you haven't got time, because you may have a business meeting, or you know, you may have some other um things set out for that day it's all achievable it's how you manage it and it's how, it's how you prioritize in the day you know one of the difficulties i had was finding the time to post to social media when you've got linkedin you've got facebook you've got twitter you've got numerous other um social media that you can post to and you know i really kind of got in a panic and then someone told me about Hootsuite, um, where you can actually um, put all your posts, schedule all your posts, and Hootsuite does the work for you. You know, so um, there are, again, tools out there to help you um, manage your time better. Um, you know, I'll do a post on Hootsuite and um, a video and you know help those who don't know anything about food so we don't know how it works don't know what to do with it you know because i got to the point where um i didn't have the time to do social media i then researched a bit more into facebook and found i could actually schedule posts on facebook on my page didn't know i could do that you know so it's it's finding um the tools and how to use the tools correctly taking the guidance and putting the guidance into action. There's no point listening to the audios and there's no point reading the um, the self-development books and the motivational books if you're not going to put anything into action. Because it's your actions that will determine how successful you are. Remember, you are only limited by the limitations you give yourself. So if you take, you know, take away from today, um, setting your goals, you know, and really think about it. What is it that you want for you and your family? What is it that you really, really want? Yes, I, I want to build a respite centre, but I want my family to be financially free. You know, and we're on the road to, do, to doing that. You know, and we're on the road, you know, I'm on the road to helping others do the same. And... You know, really think about what you want to achieve in life. You know, you may, I don't know, you may want to be, you may want to write your own book. You may want to be a public speaker. Um, you may want to, I don't know, climb Mount Kilimanjaro. You know, the goals, but they are achievable. You just have to make sure that you put the right things in place and you use the right systems. So just to reiterate, the Debonair Den of Dreams show will broadcast every Sunday evening at seven o'clock. And um, we will, you know, have guest speakers, we will have interviews, we will discuss anything that people have come to me 
within the week that I think will be beneficial to um, people who are on the um, on the show. And you know, feel free to connect, and um, you know, I'll invite people every week. Uh, you know, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to be part of part of the show by the chats on this hangout. And <clears throat> you know, remember, you know, it's your future your life you can have whatever it is that you want you just need to put into action what you learn and remember i'm on skype debbie mcintosh you can email me at debbie at debbie uk. and if you want um help with tools and systems check out www.debbymacintosh uk. Thank you so much for being here this evening and I uh, look forward to seeing you again next week and if there's anything you want me to talk about please send me a message and it can be the topic for one of our um, broadcasts one week. So I'm signing out now this is Debbie McIntosh from Manchester here in the UK saying good night to all of you and have a fantastic week. Goodbye for now.